For those late details, we have an update on a story that was breaking news during our 4 p.m. newscast yesterday. The NYPD trying to find the motorcycle driver who got into a deadly crash on the Rockaway Beach boardwalk and ran away. A second person on that motorcycle was killed. News for Gabby Acevedo is live in Edgemere, Queens. Gabby, you spoke with the victim's family today. David, that is correct. We spoke specifically with the cousin of 25-year-old David Molina. That cousin told us that the whole family is at a loss for words, especially his mother. Meanwhile, park rangers and police have been reminding people here that it is illegal to ride motorized or electric bikes, scooters, or ATVs on the boardwalk. Friends and relatives of David Molina mourning his death after a wild accident Monday afternoon in the far Rockaway boardwalk. This was my friend. Like one day you see him and then the next day he's gone. I'm really upset what happened. I'm really shocked what happened. Apparently, David was picked up at his house by a friend riding a dirt bike. Where is David? Why hasn't he called? The desperate plea from David's cousin, who also told us in her native Spanish that David's mother is traumatized and in shock. Mirna remembers how David's mother previously advised him against getting on that motorcycle with his friend, but no one seems to know exactly who was the person driving the motorbike. I don't know anything about that. I just know that he was a good person and, you know, may he rest in peace. According to the police, the motorcycle was coming this way on the far Rockaway boardwalk near Beach 47th Street when it hit a pedestrian, lost control and sent the passenger flying into one of these benches. David, who worked as a security guard and not only provided for his family here in the U.S., but also for relatives back in Nicaragua, suffered severe head trauma and was pronounced dead at the scene. Hardworking man, yes. He would go to work every single day. Police say the driver who was illegally riding this type of dirt bike on the boardwalk left the scene on foot. The search for the 26-year-old man is ongoing. Mirna wants for the driver to turn himself in on David's name so that they can have some closure from this tragedy. We're not perfect, but he was still a good soul no matter what happened. The family of David Molina was planning on taking his body to Nicaragua, but they say it's too expensive. The 55-year-old man who was struck by the dirt bike is now recovering from minor injuries. No arrests have been made at this hour. Reporting live from Edgemere in Far Rockaway, Gabby Acevedo, News 4, New York. All right, Gabby, thanks for the update there. We want to get to the latest.